is this? How are you legally allowed to put this inside of your box? This doesn't exist. What is this? Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. I don't know why I turned into a newscaster at the end of that. Fantastic day. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, yes, I hope you're having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, but I hope you also have some type of like snack or a little like drinky drink, something to keep your, your mouth entertained <laughs> while we are doing this uh, unboxing today because today's video, I think what I wanna do is like an exact opposite of the last kind of speedy round unboxing that we did. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video where I took like an hour time limit and I unboxed as many boxes as physically humanly possible for me. Somebody doesn't stop chatting about one individual item for like 20 minutes. So as many as I could personally do in one hour time limit and I put it up on my channel. But then I asked you guys if, did you like it? Did you like it? I asked in a community tab post and most most people, let's see, actually I have percentages here. 94% said yes, do it again. But then there was 6% that said don't do it again. And I had a few comments that were saying like, basically this is too much. It's too much. Like I'm anxious, you're anxious, everybody's anxious. Like the speed is just not, not my kind of thing. So what I figured we could do today is basically just the, the counter opposite of that. I'm just gonna let the camera roll, right? Well, I'll, I'll let it roll for like, 30 minutes at a time because that's all my camera can do for some reason but I'm just I'm just gonna let it go I'm just gonna let it run and uh, we're going to just unbox boxes basically until I feel like stopping and this might be potentially a two-hour video now I have evidence I have evidence in the comment section that you guys would be okay with a two-hour long video I'll show so here's, here's some proof so this video, maybe like I'm not gonna do perhaps like a ton of editing or anything. And it's just gonna be relaxed and chill. We have, you know, the babies napping in the background here, Rin and Tater. Oh, man, somebody, one of you guys made these for me. They're Rin and Tater bracelets and I love them. So we're just gonna pick from the pile. There's also a little pile on the floor as well. So I was just gonna, we're just gonna grab boxes, start unboxing them and just see where the wind takes us, I guess. I also have moved my stacking table so I can't, you know, there's no table able to stack things on right now. So I'm just gonna go grab them and come back. What should we get? What are we feeling? What are we feeling here? Ooh, there's like a double stack thing in this cake bag. Let's go for that. Oh, oh. Chit Chats Express returns. I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I guess we'll find out together. Ooh, well that looks fun. What is this? Palito Polly. Palito. What's that? That's very different. Oh, it's from Ace Beauté. This is a Palito Palopoly! Oh, bringing the fun back in makeup. Is this a makeup game? Okay, endless combinations of makeup looks and have a blast doing it. You get one 24 color palette, 24 shade cards, notepad, plus two pencils and instructions. Very interesting. So I guess it's like some type of they, they, you, 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 <laughs> they put you a makeup palette in here. I'm guessing you like pull out cards or something and it tells you where to, I don't know. We'll investigate. And then there's also, okay, this is from Chic Beauty Box. I don't know what a Chit Chat Express is, but, or why it's been returned, but that's okay. <laughs> this Chic Beauty Box feels, or, have I been saying Chic that whole time? Chic, Chic, or Chit, Chic. Feels a little bit on the lighter side. Uh-oh, this looks like it's from holidays. <laughs> My bad. Ooh, NARS. Okie dokie, this is actually a pretty fun little Chic Beauty Box. I'm assuming this is part of the box as well. Oh, this looks Adorable. You have a C Beauty Antique Gold Retro Liner. This is a really cute little package. It's just a little roller skate on there looking very kind of like 70s and groovy. <laughs> we have a roller skating rink in our town and that was like the place for birthdays. The place. Uh, but I never really learned how to roller skate. Roller blading I was a bit better at, you know, because I'm a child of the 90s. But roller skating, I had like the shuffle down. And, you know, but stand very close to the sidewall and just Ooh, it's a cake liner. That's a pretty color. This is like the color that I'm trying to put throughout my house, like little decorative, decorative items that are um, decorative. Decorative, dec, decor, little decorative. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Decorative items around my house that are like, you know, vintage-y and this kind of antique gold color. That's a super pretty color. Ew, and then we have something here from Bare Minerals, a Hydra Smoothing Lipstick in the shade Wisdom. It's a very uh, purpley color. <laughs> 
very grapey. I really can't try too much on my lips today because I'm experimenting with this lip stain for a TikTok video. So I can't really try too much on. Not that I would really try this one on anyway. It's <laughs> just a little bit too much on the purple side for me, but you know, I'm sure it could be a beautiful color on a lot of people. There are a little bit of like, like, like a fine misting of something on here, uh, potentially maybe water spots or something, but it could also just be old. I don't know exactly how old this box is. I really thought stuff like on this higher level was new. Oh, because I condensed my piles. So this stuff, I actually don't 100% know when that's from. Oh, well then, okay. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like a pretty shade. We have a little eyeshadow here from NYX. It looks like a really nice rich brown shade. It is HBD6. Okay, it says it's a blush. It does say it's a blush in the shade Beach Babe. It definitely, I'm sure, could be a blush for many different complexions, uh, but I don't think it could possibly be a blush for my complexion, unfortunately. Well, that's cute though. Look at that little bow closure. That's adorable. Oh, absolutely not. Actually, there's really not uh, any type of kind of pinkish tone to this. It looks very much so like a bronzer. There's a little bit of like a golden shimmer tone to it. I do think it's interesting that they call this a blush. Yeah, it says it's a rouge. Maybe it looks different when it's actually put onto the face, but I could possibly use this as some type of bronzer, so that could work out. And then finally, inside of the box here, we have something from No. Mars, a precision, precision. This is supposed to be relaxed. You, you don't have to be nervous. Just calm down a little bit. <laughs> a precision lip pencil in the shade. Oh, port, porque, rollas, porque rollas. Ooh, uh, another very vibrant shade. My heavens. Oh, that's very red, orange, corally shade. Maybe potentially not my, you know, color, but that's all right. All right, we gotta look into this game just a little bit. I've never seen a game come in a subscription box like this before, like a makeup subscription box. A nostalgic game with a makeup twist, play alone or with friends. Well, <laughs> I think we know how I'll be playing today. In less boys. Ooh, get to know your eye. There's a little notepad here with all of the stuff on it. It says like, Crease, outer quarter, lid, inner quarter, lower lash line. Oh, okay. It comes with a little deck of cards and then there are two tiny little pink golf pencils in here. I have no idea currently <laughs> what's going on or how you play this game, but it seems really interesting. They have like a bunch of different, I guess, styles of makeup. Oops, okay. <laughs> Grungy, neon, vogue. But then these say like fashion, Macarena. This is why instructions are a good thing to have. Oh my gosh. Says this is a palette, but I wonder if it's like a game board that looks like a palette. That could be fun. Oh, or it's just a brightly colored makeup palette. That's also fun. Wow. Oh, those are some really intense colors. My goodness. Those are super, super bright. They're pretty. I'm guessing they're going for like a, you know, a nostalgic kind of vintage theme, but I, it, fe it seems as if we might have like a mesh here between the 80s and the 90s. They're just targeting the millennials. That, that was me. I, oh my gosh, I literally look like this palette. Because you have like stuff in here that's pretty synonymous with the 80s. You got mullet, shoulder pads, big hair, queen, all that kind of stuff. But then you also have like digital pet, boy band, <laughs> ninja turtle, like some very 90s stuff. So they're just targeting me. <laughs> but it is super cute little palette. I don't understand how you play but I'm sure there are instructions and such, yes. Maybe there's no game board at all. I assumed there would be a game board because it's like the awfully part, like, you know, the Monopoly game board, but I'm not seeing anything like that. Oh, so there's like for a solo player, you're playing like a little matching game and it gives you values and then the values equal stuff on other things. Looks fun, looks very adorable, looks cute. I, I like the theming of it. I think the packaging is really fun, really cute. It seems well put together, something a little bit different. So yeah, I like this. All right, let's mix up a little here with the next box. And especially since this is a like cozy, comfy, <laughs> relax video, I thought this one would be pretty good. I've lost my cleaver. It is missing. Oh no, I didn't throw it away though. It's so tiny, it gets like into things. Okay, penguin puffin toucan knife. This box is from Beyond the Trope. And I ordered this quite some time ago. It's an Etsy, like one of, I think the mystery like book boxes. Beautiful packaging. Ooh, I love stuff like this. It's got the, it's got the, is that, well, actually, I don't know. <laughs> is that the art to try on for? Is that just another like beautiful work of st structure? Oh, I hate to cut the ribbon, <laughs> but this is glued on really nicely. Okay. 
Oh, I ripped it. Oh, I ripped it to shreds. Oh, I feel bad. Oh no. I thought this was one of like the book boxes, but maybe it's something a little different. I could have sworn it was from, oh, okay, it is. So it is a blind date with a book box. I think these are pretty fun to do. I really love how they've done this packaging. Again, look at that little car. A little model T down there. Uh, it says, welcome to the enchanting world of blind date with a book. Just like a blind date with a person, which I personally have, I've never been on one of them. That seems terrifying. Um, <laughs> your book has been carefully selected and lovingly wrapped to conceal its title and cover it, leaving only tantalizing hints and themes to guide your choice. There's a lot of little squiggly bits in here. Okay, so it looks like the uh, genre that I chose, which I totally forgot about, um, is thriller, <laughs> which is written around the tag of these just the cutest little fuzzy white socks. Just so soft. Very thrillery, I'm sure. I guess it could work if you're talking like Michael Jackson kind of thrillery. He loved his white socks. Yes, very soft, very cozy. <laughs> <laughs> quite nice. There's crinkles for days in here. <laughs> Definitely gonna be keeping those. Oh, some stickers. Oh, how fun. Okay, so we have a little bookmark here. This is cute. A little kind of like vintage-y, decoupage-y, collage -y looking bookmark. Oh, look, even that's cute. Even a little, little paper clip <laughs> has a ribbon on it. And then I saw some stickers. Oh, there they are. Oh, I lost them already. There's a bunch of cute little stickers. This one says nose and a book. Okay, ladies, now let's get some information. I am a bird and no one ensnares me. I'd rather be reading and then we have, oh that's cute, fall into books and finally just read more books. There's a little like sachet here, a burlap sachet. I'm excited to see what this is. Oh, is there a sweet treat? I do love me a sweet treat. Ooh. Oh, biscuit cookies, like you're on the plane. I've never had these cookies anywhere besides on an airplane. <laughs> I think they're very popular, like in the UK though. I see a lot of biscuit like flavored stuff from the UK. I think this is what they smash up to make cookie butter. I, is that it? Is that true? And then there's also a little thing of hot cocoa in here and this not the scent, not the shade, but the taste, <laughs> the taste, the flavor. I think I do really like Earl Grey tea. I had something, it was like, I think it was Earl Grey, but it was kind of creamy, like a little lavendery, but kind of creamy. It was delicious, very delicious tea. <gasps> Precious. Oh, there's more stuff. There's a piece of wood. I'm just wondering like what the, the motivation is for the wood. I, I'm guessing coaster, maybe for like, you know, you're drinking a hot cup of tea. A tea or a hot cup of cocoa, oops. And you need some place to set it down without creating a ring on your wooden furniture. Put a little candle on it, that could look very woodsy, <laughs> very rustic, just like a white like wood candle. Then there's this, what is this? It says emoot. Nope, it says, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it says that E-O-O, -O, potentially maybe an M and then a T. No, no, I keep trying, but I'm not coming up with anything. Oh, it's a little pin. Oh, what an interesting shade it's in. <laughs> That's the most like neutral, natural, like minimalistic color marker I've ever seen in my life. Interesting. Oh, there's a little piece of paper down here at the bottom. Oh, a reading list. Oh, that's cute. This is actually like from their brand. It says Beyond the Trope down there at the bottom. And there's just a little reading list. And I guess you can write the title of the book and like maybe the date you finished it or something and then give it a star rating. <laughs> so that's cute. It reminds me of school. Oh, look how cute this is decorated. Very kind of simple. Again, kind of minimalistic. But the little like Victorian shoe in the hat. Precious. And then there's some stuff tucked into these little folds. How'd you do that? There's another sticker kind of slid into the front. It says books I read this year. And I guess you could probably like very tinily and carefully like write in the books if you wanted to. Ooh, okay. It gives us a little bit of like a, like a sneaky little hint as to what the book could be. So on book reads, I got a point. Oh, hopefully not a point. Starting off with a point, it's probably not good. 4.06 star review. It says it's a psych thriller. Suspense, crime, mystery. Love it. Love all those things. So I'm excited to see what the actual book is. I hate ripping up stuff like this. It's just so cute. I hate to destroy somebody's like fun little crafted work. Where were you when I was folding napkins for my wedding? That's what I need to know. <laughs> that was a test. Ooh, a very compelling title. Okay. This is the number one New York Times bestseller by Lisa Jewell, Then She Was Gone. Ooh, an acutely observed family drama with bone chilling suspense. <clears throat> Ellie Mack was the perfect daughter, and then she was gone. Ten years after Ellie's disappearance, her mother, Laurel Mack, has tried to put her life back together when she meets an unexpectedly charming man in a cafe. 
happens where you always meet the unexpectedly charming men that are a little suspicious. Before she knows it, she's meeting Floyd's daughters and his youngest, Poppy, takes Laurel's breath away because the eerily precocious Poppy <laughs> is the spitting image of Ellie. And now the unanswered questions she's tried so hard to put to rest to begin haunting Laurel anew. Where did Ellie go? Did she run away from home as the police have long suspected? Or did something more sinister happen? A haunting page turner of sheer perfection. Harrowing, says US Weekly. The perfect distract- <laughs> The perfect distraction, says Bustle, and Twisty, says Pop Sugar. You sold me at Twisty. Love it. Okay, very excited to, you know, I'm sure this is going to be a fairly easy read. Looks like it would be a quick, like, page turner. So yeah, very interesting. I do love a nice mystery. I love some twistiness and distraction. So uh, excellent. All right, so we did one non makeup -y box. Maybe we'll go, like, go back and forth between standard subscriptions and then like other types of unboxings. Like, mix it up a little. Oh man, I'm not supposed to sit here with my legs cross-legged. I have been doing it the whole time. Of course I have. Thank you, Liberty Star Chicken Face. Should I just work my way down from the top? Would that be like the best idea? Probably. I think these are both look fantastic. Let's go for this. Okay, so I've had this look fantastic bag just like chilling <laughs> by itself for so long outside of its packaging and everything. But this is this is a whole subscription. I just I never even unzipped it not even once so let's go ahead and see what's inside of this bag first of all this is a nice bag did they used to like something like this or something why is this so fancy why is this whole thing just full of tiny samples okay maybe not the whole thing but like a lot of the thing maybe that, maybe, maybe that explains why the bag is so nice so I'm gonna give you a nice bag we're gonna fill it with free samples <laughs> genius genius idea okay well let's go through our free samples here real fast we got a Bioderma Hydra Serum, a Grown Alchemist Anti-Pollution Primer, then a Ellis Brooklyn Massage Body Oil, <laughs> just the smallest amount you can possibly imagine to try to cover your body with. Uh, then there's an RMS Beauty little sampler pack of foundations. Okay, once you, once I kind of pull back the bag further, there are some things that aren't, you know, foil packets. That's good. A little shampoo and conditioner here from Chlorine. And then there's some actual, like, maybe, maybe stuff. I love the name of this. <laughs> okay, this is the next item here. It's from DHC. Everything else is in a different language, but on the back it says, it says what it is. It's mild soap small. And I thought, I don't know why that, that gave me a giggle, but it did. It's looking like this is some type of olive oil soap, which that's nice. And you, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I, could, I can't think of a more accurate description besides mild soap small. Yeah, yes. This is giving off hotel soap in a way we, I don't think we've ever seen before on this channel. Okay, cute. This <laughs> rituals. Okay, ritual of Sakura. Don't know why there's an expiration date on this candle. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Expiration to 2025. So that's, I mean, <laughs> we're still in time. I've just never seen an expiration on a candle. So just an itty bitty little tiny candle here. It smells really nice. There's a bit of like a floralness to it. Uh, it smells good. Is this part of a subscription or something different? This seems seems very different from like the standard look fantastic or maybe it's not. I don't know. Georgia optimize. Oh <laughs> Optimize. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get ya. Intensive revitalizing three-in-one eye contour cream. I, I might actually use that and put that in my makeup bag right there. <laughs> that sounds good. Dynamic skin recovery from Dermalogica with SPF 50 in it. You got a little thing of Clarity Return to Calm CBD Mask. MD Solar Sciences Daily Perfecting Moisturizer. Then there's a PCA Skin Clear Skin with just the most plain little jar I've ever seen ever. Oh, Oh, Molten Brown London, we have a little orange and bergamot bath and shower gel. I feel like I've smelled this smell before and I wish it was more orangey. Hmm, I don't know. Actually, that smells pretty good. I kind of like that. And then we have a Lumine Nordic Sea Clear Glow Gel Cleansing Scrub. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, so, sure, yeah. I like the candle. I like the bag. <laughs> there's so many random things in here. Like, there's so many free samples. What an interesting little look fantastic bag. What is this? Oh my gosh, how did I miss this free sample? It's on a whole big like card thing. Um, yeah, just a wild peony vibrant floral fragrance right there. You know, another free sample. Not even in a little tiny like spritzy thing, just, you know, one of them. All right, let's go into another look fantastic box here. See, this one comes in like a little actual box. That makes me almost believe that that little red bag was something maybe for like Christmas, like an extra bonus or something. Because even though I know look fantastic isn't great for sending super large size items. A lot of those are really just free samples, so it's kind of different. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm so used to seeing boxes, doing these unboxings from like years ago. I literally read Beauty Box Edit 07 and I was like, 
I didn't, you, did YouTube, YouTube just started in 2007. <laughs> I didn't make my first video until like 10 years later. <laughs> so I think, I think we're good on that. It smells really good in here. This looks like it's a summertime box. Oh, this coat expired in 2022. So, you know, probably a little bit on the older side, but it smells really nice. First thing I'm seeing here is a Beauty Pro Plink Plink Pink, pink. My sheet mask with calamine, vitamin B, and white mulberry in it. I don't know why I'm saying things weird today. I don't know. I, it's again, even though this is like a calm, relaxed unboxing, <laughs> I haven't filmed in a few days and I just get so nervous every single time. Oh, a scalp scrub, exfoliating anti dandruff treatment, clears and soothes drafts like a scalp. It looks like mint chocolate chip ice cream. That sounds kind of good. I know mint chocolate chip gets a lot of hate because people are like, what, why is, why is it taste like toothpaste. It doesn't taste like toothpaste. It tastes like mint chocolate chip. <laughs> it's very different. I also anticipated this smelling like mint chocolate chip, but it doesn't because that's for your head, not your mouth. This is a pre-shampoo treatment. You're supposed to use it once a week to remove buildup and such. Leave it on for five to 10 minutes uh, with, oh, pineapple enzymes. I guess do their little magic. Oh, it literally says work their magic. Oh, wow. <laughs> And then it's just a rinse. <laughs> oh, it's soap also. Okay, the fun soap. This one looks really fun. Uh, this is a foamy, great name, shower body bar with papaya and oat milk. 100% plastic free. Oh, this feels like a teething toy. <laughs> you would like attach this to like the front part of your baby's like little stroller and he could like why you're, you're driving around. It, yep, it smells like soap. It's got these little no nodules on the bottom of it, which I, that probably would feel really nice like while you're massaging in the soap and stuff. But you know, it is also soap. So like these are gonna fl flatten down with time, but th at least this is a fun soap. It might not be mild and small, but it's bumpy and round oval. <laughs> it's not even round, it's oval. <laughs> Key dokey, we have a Mio Future Proof Body Butter, an intense mega moisture cream. That sounds very nice and nourishing for the body. And then we have this little thing. Oh, oh my goodness. I like how it gloops around in there. Is it supposed to gloop like that? I don't know. <laughs> Could it just be because it might be a little bit old? Perhaps, but it gloops real good. Oh, it's an after sun the recovery gel thing. My husband just got very sunburned. He could, he could definitely use this. And the last thing we have in here, oh, by Terry, that's fancy. This is a hyaluronic hydra powder. I think, I think I've tried this before, but I don't think I've tried it in the loose uh, powder kind. Um, I think I had like a little pressed powder palette of it. Just in the shade zero or colorless. <laughs> so just a little set and powder. So yeah, like the, there's a lot of skincare stuff in here. Um, Things weren't huge or anything, but they weren't free samples. <laughs> they didn't come like glued to a little piece of cardboard where you could get like one sniff of a perfume or anything. So that's what I mean. Like I'm wondering what that little red bag was because it doesn't seem like a standard look fantastic, which can you even still? Yes, you can. I kind of thought, I knew that glossy box like didn't ship to the US anymore. I kind of thought look fantastic didn't either. Maybe that's just me having really bad memory and maybe it's just glossy box that doesn't, that doesn't ship anymore. Cause like, I think I just got another look fantastic very recently. I feel like this lip stain is starting to lose its color already a little bit. It's supposed to be like an all day lip stain that I got from TikTok, but we'll see about that TikTok. We'll see about that. Okay, so I have a little stack of stuff that you guys have sent me, I think. Um, we have like a subscription box that I think one of you guys owns, and then you all sent me just a couple of things to the PO box, and that's really nice. It's very sweet. I just packed up my binder of letters that I've cut from you guys for like all these years yesterday, and I definitely need to get a new binder because I also have like a little basket holding the overflow, but y'all are so sweet. Y'all are so kind, and uh, I will keep those letters forever. <laughs> I don't care if you forget that you sent me that letter. I will not forget that you sent me that letter because I'm keeping it forever. <laughs> okay, so the first little thing came with a little note. And this is from Lauren. She did a little crochet granny square, which I, I love. First of all, this color is so nice. It's just such like a nice, comforting oatmeal color. I love that. And your granny square work is fantastic. How'd you do? I don't know how you did this. This is not how my granny squares turn out. There's like all sorts of like patterns in here and it's extra fancy. I haven't crocheted in a while. The ADHD kicked in so hard with crocheting. I was like, I have to own every yarn. I need to know how to make everything from crochet. <laughs> and then I just ended up making like 30 individual granny squares and then I haven't touched it since. I'll get back to it though. I will get back to it in my new house. I'm gonna have a crafting room and I'm so excited about that. My crafting room in the uh, this house right here is the dining room. Um, so when you like open up the front door, it's like, oh, it's all of 
my crafts and junk just right there as soon as you walk in like if you if you sl even slightly turn your head to the left it's just that's where my crafts were so I had like tables set up with like all my paper drying on it and I'm like hello welcome to my house ignore the bowls full of black like paper pulp it just keep keep walking it's fine but in this house I'm gonna have a whole crafting room like just just do crafts <laughs> should we have some type of guest room or something maybe but you know no one comes to stay at our house so craft room thank you very much lauren this is so very sweet and then okay so i did open this up partially because i didn't know what, what it was um but then i saw you know little note and stuff in here and beautiful little pictures of paris my goodness the eiffel tower these are so pretty so stunning i wonder if my mom would like one of these because she went on a trip to paris she loved it and then we could have little matching ones in our houses that could be so cute i also included just a little bit of like Parisian ribbon. How adorable. And a little fleur-de-lis uh, ribbon. That's also so cute. Speaking of cute, look at this daggone puppy in a cup. It says Alexandra on the front, so just a little letter. Ab ugly. <laughs> you have impeccable taste. I just want to let you know, you have immaculate taste. Look at this car. It is a glittery ostrich. It's got a little garter <laughs> above its big knobby knee. And then it says absolutely fabulous at the bottom. Impeccable taste. Oh, that's so funny so the granny square was from lauren this is from laura it says hi alexandria i got these silver plated swan placeholders from a vintage store in paris around 1985 saw your antique unboxing thought you might like them that's the sweetest thing ever that is absolutely just the sweetest thing ever thank you laura thank you so much and this is the part like i opened this up and i saw that and i was like i I can't just open this box without making like putting it on camera. So I, I did not open this box yet. I have no idea what they look like, but I bet they are precious. Uh, I had got that one little kind of like silver plated uh, place card holder in that first vintage unboxing that we did. And I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is precious. Um, so, and you've heard her just to see that and send me something that she found in 1985. I'm so excited to see what these little guys look like. This box is adorable, by the way, also. Oh my gosh, even your wrapping paper. It's fabulous, too. It's a gold tree. They're so tiny. <laughs> They're so tiny and cute. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them. Swans everywhere. <laughs> oh, some of them have slightly different feathers than the others. Look at them. Look how adorable. So this one has, like, kind of spiked up feathers and a little, like, top head feather. And then the other version has, like kind of more smooth feathers and then like a little smooth head. Look how cute. Are you kidding me? Thank you so much, Laura. This is so sweet. You guys are the nicest ever. Oh my goodness. I have tiny animals. Okay. <laughs> I have tiny little animals that I hide around my house. So I have <laughs> 13 vintage squirrels, uh, just little tiny plastic squirrels, and I like to put them around the house. And then sometimes I'll mention to people that are coming over, like, hey, there's 13 tiny squirrels hidden throughout this house. You want to find them? And most of the time they're like, yeah, I do. <laughs> they scavenger hunt for the tiny squirrels. Um, and then my friend Stuart, he bought me a couple little, I think like three little tiny deer. Those are also hidden as well. I won't hide these because they're, <laughs> they're silver plated and not like tiny little plastic um, in case I lose them. But I will use these for whatever dinner occasion I have next. If, even if it's just like me and Jeremy, I'll set Ren and Tater a play setting just so we can use more swans. So thank you so much, Laura. These are so sweet. Thank you. You guys are just the sweetest. Like you're sending me something that you hand crocheted with your own two hands, an item that you like discovered in 1985. Like this is... This is absolutely the sweetest. So thank you guys very much. And now I have more little letters to put in my new letter binder. Speaking of vintage stuff, so we did that one unboxing of like Etsy kind of subscription boxes of vintage things. And one of them that we did came with this beautiful music box. And it was so pretty. It definitely met like the theme that I was going for that kind of, you know, understated Parisian European kind of cottagey type decor. The only problem with it is that the little, the little leg was missing. So I had ordered that box from Human Curiosity and I left a review on their Etsy site basically saying like, oh, I really enjoyed the box. Like this was a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately, the back leg of the music box um, 
mom, you know, was missing a leg. But I know like, you know, stuff was gonna come like a little bit damaged, but you know, missing a whole leg makes it a little bit hard to, to use and decorate with. Um, but I still give them five stars and everything. They saw my review and they messaged me and they're like, hey, I just found the leg. And this was a little while after I posted that review. And they're like, hey, I just found the, the leg that is supposed to go with your music box. Do you want me to send it to you? And then I didn't see that message for like a whole month. And then I saw it and I was like, oh man, you know, they're probably not gonna keep one tiny little wooden leg, you know, from a music box they know they don't have anymore. Uh, so I messaged them back and I was like, hey, oh my gosh, like, thank you for reaching out. Uh, if you still happen to have it, like that's, that would be wonderful. But if not, I, I totally understand. And so she messaged me right back and was like, I still have it. I'll send it out to you tomorrow. And I got it. But they also were incredibly kind and sent me a couple little bonus extra items, which is so nice. Sorry, I did kind of go ahead and open this one up already. I got excited. <laughs> so we have a little postcard here. And then on here they wrote, I'm beyond grateful to be able to make it right with your order. Thank you for the opportunity. Enjoy. Yours truly, Tiffany R. Human Curiosity. Look at this stamp. Isn't that pretty? It's a little vintage stamp. I just, I love vintage stuff so much. And inside they sent me a little bonus extra items. There's a little man with a basket. He's real cute. No idea what I'm gonna do with them, but he's brass. He has a little basket, but he's kind of bent like this direction. So it might be harder to put maybe matchsticks. That could be kind of fun. Yeah, just like little matchsticks in there, like next to a candle or something. That could be pretty cute. Spe oh, that might actually be, <laughs> you know, that could, that could be a theme because the next thing they sent What's this awesome table lighter? This has to be from what, like the 60s or something? Uh, you can tell from the bottom there, it has like a vintage label on it. It's made in the USA. It is a Veriflame Uralite, and you just press this little thing down here and then it's supposed to, you know, make fire. <laughs> yeah, if fire come out, I think, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but hold on. There's something still in this. The little like igniter button doesn't go all the way down, but it, there's it's st something still coming out of there. So that's interesting. Look how fun! I like that. I wonder if I can Google this real fast. I just I just want to see. <laughs> I just want to see when this is from. I'm assuming the 60s. It just kind of reads 60s. It's century. Okay. All right. We're in the right realm. Most everybody who's selling them online is saying it's vintage from the 60s or like mid-century. So definitely in that area. This person sold theirs on Etsy for $80. That's a lot of money. Okie dokie. But super cool. Definitely like a fun, just little tabletop kind of decoration or maybe in like a bookshelf or something. Also, speaking of bookshelves, have you seen a cuter tiny dictionary? This is a dictionary. Montgomery Ward and Co's standard Webster dictionary for the vest pocket. For the vest pocket, in case you need just a definition on the go, or you need to know how to spell something. That's what I mainly would use a dictionary for. <laughs> Look at this. That is so precious, so <laughs> cute. And then there's even little, like when you flip it open, gotta be real gentle, it's kind of, the binding's coming apart a bit, but there's little tabs that'll take you to like, you know, the letters of the word you're looking up. Oh, and somebody wrote something in the back. I love that. I love how this looks. Just like the ink on this paper, how it seeps into it. Oh, I love it. What does that say? The... <laughs> the next word is stumping me a little bit. I'm not 100% sure what they're going for there, but it's the... Blank of every man and woman is to serve other people. That's so nice. I can't, I don't know. I'm drawing a full blank. If anybody can help me on this word right there. It's something Eation. Why can't I? <laughs> this is why it's so hard for me to do the wordle. Any hoozle, if, if you can help me out on that one, <laughs> that would be lovely. But I do also want to see um, what year this little dictionary is from. This is just too stinking cute. <gasps> 1998. <laughs> 1998, as in younger than me. Wow. <laughs> You're looking pretty rough for 20 something years old. Okay, um, 1898, 18. <laughs> So um, I kept getting my numbers wrong, my years wrong and such in the last unboxing where I did like a, you know, anything vintage. Uh, so 1898, this, you know what? 2024 minus 1898, 126 years old. Ridic ridiculous, that's, I, 
Ridiculous, isn't that crazy? I think that's crazy. I don't know, it gets me every time. And then last but not least, we have a little shoe with the leg in it. Oh my gosh, do you think they put it inside of a shoe because it's a foot? It's the foot of the music box? I hope that's why they did it. So here is the tiny little leg that is supposed to go with the music box that I got so I can pop this back in there, probably use a little bit of wood glue or something to hold it steady. But there's also a shoe, a little glass cut crystal-y type of shoe. That was incredibly kind. Thank you so much for sending that leg and all the other little items. That's really, really sweet. Far too sweet. Just the, I would have paid for the leg if you just, I would pay for the shipping and everything uh, to get the leg here, but for you to send all these little extra items. So very sweet. Thank you so very much, Human Curiosity. Okay, so next up here, I, I again, I didn't know what this was. There's an outer packaging and then there is <laughs> this box. So I went ahead and opened up this because I just thought it was random mail, <laughs> but this turns out to be some type of like journaling subscription box. So I thought that was pretty fun. This is from journal to journal. So this is from journal to journal and it seems like they are a journaling subscription service. It has this little thing in it that says June pack. I'm glad that that's what it's from. And then there's also another little, um, so it laminated. I would love to have a laminator. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, he's running. Hold on. Tater's running. He's gonna go by. All right, so it tells us a little bit about it here. It says the Journal to Journal monthly subscription pack is a handmade stationary lifestyle and office supply subscription. We want to support handmade businesses and give people the opportunity to enjoy unique quality items. We take pride in our products and hope you enjoy our items. If you sign up during our Founders 20, you will receive a free gift while supplies last. So the monthly subscription pack is $35 plus free shipping, you can cancel at any time. It tells you what's in the subscription down here with little prices next to it. So we'll go ahead and look at the stuff and then I'll tell you guys like prices and things like that at the end. So it came like this and then I'm not 100% sure if this was sent with it or I think it was probably separately and I actually just slid it in there. Uh, but I had a little, another little postcard. It says, hi Allie, sending love from Minnesota to you and the pups. Mary, oh that's so sweet. Thank you, Mary. Okay, so we have our little journal subscription here. We have a couple of notebooks and a little few extra items as well. These are pretty like thick, girthy, substantial notebooks, which is good. I could always use some notebooks. I'm constantly like jotting down stuff because my mind doesn't work as a memory function. I can't keep things in there. So <laughs> if it's not written down, I'm not gonna remember it. So yeah, I always write down stuff like all the time. The first one, we have this lovely kind of like painted lady. She looks uh, maybe a little watercolory. And the second one here is kind of like a little pop art lady. I'm loving, I love her bun. I wish my bun and bangs <laughs> looked like that. Like they don't. <laughs> Got some glasses on. And then again, it's just a nice plain lined notebook so you can, you know, write down your thoughts and ideas and, you know, grocery lists and such. Probably should try journaling. I hear it's actually like really like good for you, like mentally <laughs> to, to journal and kind of get out your thoughts and stuff. I just, I've never tried it. So maybe I should actually use a journal for, you know, journal purposes. We have two little velvety long bags here. We have a, a pen, all right, little purple pen with again, some nodules on it. Is it right purple? My handwriting is so bad. <laughs> it's really bad. To anybody who's ever purchased anything from my Poshmark, I always do like a handwritten note <laughs> for each order. <laughs> I'm so sorry if <laughs> that's really bad. Yeah, okay, it's just a standard pen. Doesn't write in purple or anything like that. And then I think we have another little pen here that also looks kind of purpley, but I bet it's also just standard black ink. Oh, this one writes differently though. I think I like, I like the glidiness of this one. The actual pen itself, the first one feels like nicer and fancier. This one feels pretty lightweight and stuff, but the actual glide of the pen, I think the second one just feels nicer. There's something about office supplies, like school supplies, office supplies, love them. I absolutely love them. And then there's also, oh, here we go. We have a little wax melt here. This is in the scent. Peaches and cream. Now I have already smelled this because you can't tell me something scented like peaches and cream and me not instantly open it and smell it. The thing is, I think it smells really good. I'm just not getting a lot of peach. There's a lot of cream. I'm smelling a lot of cream, but just not so much on the peach side, but I mean, it smells really nice. I have a little list of prices here. We got the purple confetti pin. I, I don't know if these looked like confetti to me, but anyway, $3 for that. Purple grid pin, $3. Handmade Camilla Journal Notebook. I don't know which one that is. <laughs> oh, maybe this one's Camilla, because the other one is Handmade Daisy Journal Notebook, and this she has flowers, so maybe this one's Daisy. Uh, then there's the Handmade Peaches and Cream. Oh, twenty dollars a piece. Didn't even didn't even say the price. Uh, twenty dollars a piece for those, and then the Handmade Peaches and Cream Wax Melt, twelve ninety nine. Whoa, that is that's a price.
Spicy Wax Melts. So you're paying $35 and you get free shipping. The two notebooks, that's like 40 bucks, $46. 50, $59, $59 is the retail value of these items. When they say handmade notebook, I wonder what they mean by that because like there's a, there's a QR code on the back of this one. So I'm guessing they're probably just submitting artwork and having them turned into to notebooks maybe. Uh, it doesn't appear perhaps, but I could be wrong though. Um, it doesn't appear that they're actually like binding them themselves or anything, but maybe they're, they're doing the artwork. All right, and then we have one more of these boxes and then we'll do another makeup box. I'm sorry guys, I just, I really did want to do these boxes as well because I think it's so sweet that you guys send stuff my way. This one also says June box. Maybe there's options of like a smaller box and then a larger one. Ooh, this one has all sorts of stuff in it. Fun. Yeah, this one's chock full of stuff. Okay, this is really exciting. Oh, okay, so this one is a quarterly subscription box. Okie dokie, so this is $78 with free shipping. Again, we have the, the prices there. Okay, it looks like you get 35% off and a free gift if you use code FOUNDERS35. This is not sponsored, by the way. This is not an affiliate anything. I'm not getting paid to do any of this. I'm just reading. They just, it came in the thing, it's laminated. I'm just reading it. Okay, first thing we have here is a little more sticker book. Ooh, stickers. I do love stickers. I think stickers are so much fun. Uh, oh, okay. Well, these are interesting. So it's like organizational stickers, like stickers for your journals. I kind of like that. Pre established like planners and stuff don't, they don't really work for me um, because I don't remember to use them in the time frame of which they apply. So I still have notebooks and planners and things like that from like 2020. And I just use, I just use the paper in it. I, did, I don't, don't, I don't pay attention at all to the date, the, the month, the year, anything. And I just, <laughs> I just, I just use the paper. I write down my to-dos anyway, um, even though it's, you know, a few years old. But this, I like the, um, the customization of it, you know? There's little like monthly goals and weekly goal stickers in here, appointment stickers. Oh, that's all kind of fun. Oh, and there's also like these little stickers in the back. These remind me of planners from when you were a child. <laughs> when I was a child. Oh, and then there's just some little cute ones. How precious. All right, we have another peaches and cream wax melt. I'm gonna give this one a sniff too. Oh, interestingly, this one does have a bit more of like a, a fruity, peachy-ish scent to it. Again, it smells really good. It's just um, not what I would anticipate peaches and cream to smell like, but it could also smell more like that once it's actually burning. Oh, there's a little milk with paws on it. Adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there's a big candle. Peachy, a paraffin wax candle, 50 hours burn time. Pam Horton, Texas. Oh, that smells like peaches. Now that actually, that smells very strongly of peaches. Mmm, like peach rings. Gosh, I love an artificial peach scent. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, peaches. Speaking of peaches, have you guys seen Miss Peaches? Like TikTok Day Portnoy, Miss Peaches. I'm in love with this dog. <laughs> I'm in love with her. Okay, <laughs> so we have two more little pins in here. This time they are bejeweled with massive pink and blue crystals. Could you imagine like that on your finger? There's some fancy schmancy people out there. Like that's that's their ring. That's the whole, yeah, their whole ring is that. Oh, the journals are different. Okay, interesting. Two different journals here. They both kind of follow the same theme of like blue and purple roses. The same, just little spirally notebooks with just different looks to them. Okay, fun. And then the last thing in here is a little baggie. Is there anything on the inside? It felt kind of heavy. Oh no, it's just, it's nice. <laughs> There's a few little compartments and stuff on the inside. I guess it's what made it feel heavier. Oh, it's like a pencil case. Hey, we could put, you know, your stuff in there and your pens. All very fun. This is cute. Okay, lovely. Thank you so very much for sending this to me. I'm quite excited to have a few more journals to jot down things in. We actually trans or we're in the middle of transitioning to our new house and I forgot to bring a journal with me or like anything to write things down in. And it's been kind of hard because I can't I can't remember anything. My husband was like, why don't you just you put it in your phone, like write a note in your phone? I'm like as soon as the, the, the screen goes away, the, the notes app goes away, I'm gonna forget it's there. I have to have it in something physical, like in my hand, that I can see it's not gonna go away and then I'll set the notebook down and forget about it. But like I'll wander around the house and find it and get it and be like, oh yeah, I have things to do. I kinda wanna do exactly this purple one at the bottom. But maybe I shouldn't. Okay, let's just, we'll do this purple one up here then. All right, so we have a Glam Bag X from November, 2022. A good month, a good month. First thing I'm seeing here, oh. Bright eyes, deep puffing. 
I still, yeah, deep puffing. That could still work probably. Uh, <laughs> deep puffing and brightening eye gels with restorative colloidal silver. Silver. Ooh, it says that it helps reduce visible puffiness and fine lines. There's pearls in here. My goodness, collagen and aloe. Okay, wow, yeah, there's a good little stack of them inside of here. Uh, my eyes have been pretty sunken recently. <laughs> Next up, we have a Plump and Hydrate Balance Me Hyaluronic Acid. This is a Yarrow Aloe Vera for all skin types. Uh, this actually looks really familiar. I feel like at least we've had something from this brand before, the Balance Me brand. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a sniff. Maybe it is chunky. I don't know. You're probably supposed to shake it. It doesn't smell bad or anything. <laughs> oh my heavens, how many of these can there be? I get, well, I guess a ton of them because people just order them wholesale from China and then say they're worth hundreds of dollars. <laughs> this is a Sculpt Lift Bar. 24 karat gold, yeah, 24 karat gold. I guess if, if there's even like a speck of 24 karat gold anywhere in this, they could call it 24 karat gold. It says it's 24 karat gold plated, you know, I'm guessing this little piece up here, but I have my doubts. <laughs> Must be careful, this is like a $125 item here, gotta, whew, <laughs> can't break it. Anyway, it's another one of these. We've already, we've already done the Timu search, we've already done the AliExpress, Alibaba search on this one and found it for a couple of dollars. So it'll be interesting. Did I say how much they're charging for it in here? Because I think that was the same one in the advent calendar that they said was $125. Ipsy. Come on now. <laughs> yup. Skin Ink Lift and Sculpt Bar, $125. In their dreams. All right, from Herbivore. Oh, something's very pretty about this packaging. Just this, I hope you can kind of see it. The lights are a little bit bright, but it's just this super like pale kind of cloud-like packaging. It's from Herbivore. This is Pink Cloud. Oh, I like the packaging of this. It's so short. I don't know. <laughs> you don't typically see little jars like this of skincare that are this short but I like it. It also reads very, um, there's another brand that look, it, it, it kind of reads like it. Maybe juice, glow, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but pretty packaging nonetheless. Okay, this might be one of those instances I'm a little afraid of. <laughs> but you know, okay, so uh, November 2022, that was a little while ago. Fair, but it was just like a year and a half ago, right? But I think there's mold around this. Is that mold? I mean, I read somewhere that skincare is good when it's like, you know, after it's been bottled up for like at least minimum three years or something like that. Unless I'm sure, unless there's not like preservatives or anything in it. I wish there was like a, a date that it was filled or something. Cause I swear that's mold. Let's see if I can get you guys like a better vision a view of this. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I swear I'm seeing little mold fibers around the edge of this. It's not that old, right? It's never been exposed to air. It's never been opened, but the edge, like the inside doesn't seem that bad. Maybe it's not mold and it's just some debris. I don't know. <laughs> Although it doesn't smell that great in there. It does look kind of chunky, but maybe it's supposed to look like that because of cloud. I'm not sure. I don't know. I wouldn't put it on my face. That's just you. Yes. Oh, I remember opening one of these Love Sprung Artist Couture face palette. Just a couple blushes there and a little highlighter in the center. Um, I did like the packaging of this. Something very Polly Pocket about it, which I appreciate. Oh, another magnesium spray. We've had this exact magnesium spray before and I said I was gonna use it. And I forgot to. Um, but it's supposed to be good for like relaxing you and stuff. Um, I see people spray it like on their feet and their belly. I don't know why specifically those areas, armpits maybe. Um, I don't know if that's like where it, you know, soaks in the best, it gets in the bloodstream the best, but uh, 12 sprays, wow. Next up here, we have an Alginist Collagen Nourishing Lip Balm. Okay, I get what they're going for with these little lips right there. I guess it's supposed to be maybe like collagen cells or something, but what an unappealing color to make the lips. It looks like chunky yellow green. It's just a little pot of it. And then I was really curious and I had to look up like the alginist and something called algoronic acid because I'd never heard that before. And it's, yeah, it's actually made from algae. <laughs> oh, there's also made from algae. And then last but not least, oh, an Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder. That's what I'm currently using right now. So <laughs> if I run out of it, I have backup. A big old honking uh, tank, tank, not tank, tub. A big old, <laughs> a big old honking tub of it. Alrighty, folks. So that was the Glam Bag X from November, 2022. Like I said, apparently we already have at least $125 in value from that little vibrating stick. I think potentially if you were to like minus off $120 of that, then you probably are about the correct value. Oh, that Pink Cloud Moisture Soft Cream is $44. That's a bunch. Let's see how much the Anastasia powder is. I'm assuming it's decently expensive. So yeah, not a terrible Glam Bag X. 
Uh, not a ton of makeup. I did see that there were some like palettes and other things that we could have gotten, you know, a year and a half ago, uh, but we didn't. <laughs> not terrible, not my favorite, but not too bad. Maybe we could do one of these. It's not a subscription. This isn't a beauty subscription, but ColourPop comes out with some of the cutest little collections. I kind of want to see what this one is. The other day, I came across a whole Nightmare Before Christmas collection, and that was, I think I'd saved it like in my closet, like, oh, well, like, this is something I want to like keep collect, you know? Uh, and then I forgot it existed because it exited my eye line. Uh, but it's oh, so cute. Special delivery from us to you. Oh, there's a reindeer on it. Okay. Oh, it's a hat! Oh no. <laughs> it just needs a little shaping. I will absolutely wear this. I will be wearing this hat. <laughs> I do like a nice hat every now and then. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Are these socks? Are you kidding me? Gosh, I need to open stuff up sooner. Look how cute these are. <gasps> a little red on them and the color pop on the red. red, red. <laughs> Listen, I'm fully in my Adam Sandler era. The only thing I wear nowadays is like something baggy up here and like some shorts and like white kind of you know, not super like tube socks usually, but like a taller white sock and some type of slides, orthopedic slides for my Achilles tendonitis and my plantar fasciitis and my overpronating ankles. Being beyond 30 is a journey. <laughs> it's a journey. It's a medical journey. All right, so we have a couple of actual makeup items in here. <laughs> not that many, uh, but this is, the first thing we have here is a Lux lip oil in the shade Skinny Dip. Lux lip oil. A very just neutrally kind of nudie looking lip oil. These are actually pretty nice. They like feel really soft on the lips. Then we have, what do we have here? What does we have here? A BFF lippy pencil. Ooh, this looks like a nice shade. Again, very kind of like nudie. Yeah, that's nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's very similar color. <laughs> Next up here we have a very, very pink blush. Honestly, it has a bit more of like a purpley undertone to it than my sweater does. This is in the shade Flamingo. And then finally, the last thing in here feels like one of their little palettes. Cocoa and Coconuts. I've heard of this one. I feel like a lot of people really like this palette. This is kind of a strange selection. Hey bestie, happy holidays. I wanted to thank you for the show. Oh, Pop, you're too good to me. You're too very good to me. <laughs> Again, I'm not quite sure if I still know I'm on the PR list there, but thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Um, I think this was just like a really nice little sweet kind of holiday gift. That's that's really nice. Okay, so at first I thought this might be some type of collection, uh, but usually their collections have more like, you know, like a theme to them. I think this is just a very nice little holiday gift. How adorable. Oh, actually, those colors are lovely. Uh, they're, they're very muted and they're kind of light. Like definitely not anything super loud, outrageous, but they're actually, those are really lovely colors. And now I kinda, kinda wanna use them. I wonder if they would be a little bit on like the gray side for me. Cause I tend to like to go for a bit more of like a warm look, especially in summer. So um, they might be a little bit gray, but they're very, very pretty. Well, how nice. Thank you, Colourpop. Thank you very much. <laughs> few months later. Thank you very much. Coconut is what we called the boy I went to prom with two years in a row. Okay, I had a glow addict throw itself off the shelf at me, so we're gonna go ahead and open this one. It looks like it's been moist at one point. It looks like it's been fairly damp, at least in the corners. It could have just been like left outside though, and then things have been, you know, the liquid, the rains have been sucked up into it. Hopefully it's not coming, you know, from the inside. The call isn't coming from inside the house or anything like that. Glow addict. Okay, glad. I feel like things have changed a little bit with their subscription since whenever we got this. But maybe a little, like a little something, something in there. Like a, a tissue paper, just anything to kind of, you know, this is just free, free Roman <laughs> inside of this box. First thing I'm seeing is plum wash. Good mood plum wash for sensitive skin. Nod. Sing. Uh, plum wash, purifying wash for sensitive skin. It says shop now and then says literally nothing else. There's not a direction. There's not an ingredient. There is nothing. And then where it says shop now, where are you, supposed to, where are you shopping? There's no uh, URL. <laughs> There's nothing. Okie dokie. Let's give it a sniff. Mm, I don't love how that smells. I I really wish you wouldn't put stuff glow at it because I feel like this is kind of a recurring thing. If you're if you're, if you're out there watching, I really wish you wouldn't put stuff in your boxes that have no ingredients. Uh, especially now, I think where they have their own line of stuff, sometimes it comes with absolutely no ingredients, which I don't think is I kind of don't think it's legal. Um, but it's it's not 
best practice, I would say. Definitely not best practice. So um, I, I feel like you didn't do this, like Glow Addict didn't create this product, but I don't know how you pick a product to put inside of your box that just, there's no ingredients. <laughs> that seems, that could seem almost like it has like legal repercussions on you, perhaps, if something were to happen, if somebody used this product and it like burn their eyeballs out or something. Plum wash, okay, good mood. Well, that's suspicious. And then also again, potentially, illegal like i this doesn't exist on the internet at least from what i can find this doesn't exist so good mood plum wash i i, I let me know that's something that you've been able to um find before come across on the internet if you've received this if you if you somehow purchased this from somewhere it does it says shop now where to shop i don't know from what i am seeing here this does not exist on the internet i'm gonna do a google image search and see if anything comes up for it because right now it's um it is a mystery no <laughs> No, <laughs> not even in like the reverse Google image search. Does this come up at all whatsoever? Like not even somebody on like you know, Macari or Poshmark or eBay trying to relist an item that they got in here. Like am I, do, is this the only one in existence known to man and I'm holding it in my hands? If that's the case, I'm definitely not putting it on my face. What is this? How are you legally allowed to put this inside of your box? This doesn't exist. What is this? Now listen, I know I said this was a chill unboxing. <laughs> this was a very calm, relaxed unboxing, but now I'm in like investigatory mode. Honestly, another video, another video. I might be doing a little, a little research, a little background research on maybe this entire subscription. That might be, <laughs> that might be a whole video. Stay tuned. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Next up from Cara Beauty, we have a Liquid Rouge Matte Lipstick in the shade Delicate, which <laughs> doesn't look particularly like a delicate shade if it's anything like the sticker. That, I mean, I say it every time, but that is coral to a T. That is, yeah, absolutely coral. <laughs> this looks very familiar. We have something here from Ocalon. It is a banana loose powder with a cute little shiny sparkly lid. And then there's just some kind of yellowy setting powder. On well, that from Beauty Creations, we have a gel eyeliner. It looks like it comes with a little pot of eyeliner and then a little kind of angle brush. And this is in the color brown. It looks like it's a nice kind of deep rich brown. I probably could use this. On well, that, we have a Vivid Lips lip liner in the shade Latte, a very kind of brownish shade yet again. All I just realized I haven't been swatching stuff. <laughs> oh my bad. I don't want to swatch too terribly many things. Like if I think I'm really truly never going to use it, then I, I don't really want to swatch it because I think that, that that could be really wasteful. Um, If it's something I think I might be able to use, I don't really know until I swatch it. And I kind of see the color, then I'll go ahead and swatch it. Um, or, or if it's like maybe an eyeshadow palette, something that could be sanitized. But lip colors, that kind of stuff probably won't be swatching those too terribly much just because of waste. So like, we'll see with this palette here. Maybe it's something that I might get some use out of so I can swatch it for you guys. It's very, very lightweight. <laughs> this is the Smoky Eyes Brown from Ocalon. Oh, <laughs> it's a little tutorial on the inside. It's like a 2016 YouTube video, but just in palette form. And it has the tiniest, the itiest, bittiest little squares, uh, little pans of eyeshadow I've ever seen. <laughs> However, I do like these shades. And if I was gonna do like, <laughs> Uncle Fester, is that you? <laughs> I just have the giggles like that. <laughs> Hold on. Step number one, you start off here with the bright light, <laughs> okay? And then by step number two, you're just Uncle Fester the whole time. Wait, where did this black ring come from? You go from white to kind of this like maroony shade and somehow all of a sudden you just, <laughs> you have Uncle Fester on. Who proofed this? Who <laughs> looked at this graphic and was like, yes, this is precisely what we're going for. There's not even a black in this palette. Oh, that, my ribs hurt. <laughs> Let me just, we'll get some swatches here. Maybe one of these will just magically come out as like um like a thick black eyeliner that you just ring around your eyes. Okay, there there's everything swatched. Those whites are powdery as all get out. It looks like you just chalk, kind of, you know. If you like swooped your finger across the bottom of a chalkboard after the teacher like erased it. Do they still use chalkboards in school? Anywho, chalk dust, it's, it's like chalk dust. And then the rest of the colors, um, you know, I feel like you probably need a few layers. A few layers really built up to get anywhere near 
the look that they're um, they're showing off here in their little step-by-step -step diagram. <laughs> and honestly, kind of the Uncle Fester eye almost looks better. Look how uneven this is. <laughs> That's an incredibly like uneven, splotchy blend. Those are full on dots. I don't even think there's an eyeshadow that color in here. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's time to stop unboxing. I feel like I'm getting a little heated. I feel like I also now like I needed to go investigate because there, I feel like there's some just strange things potentially going on with the Glow Attic Beauty Box. I just I would like to go out into the world and by that I mean look on Reddit and see if anybody has some you know a uh, uh, thoughts, opinions, maybe some information about the Glow Attic Beauty Box. I just think it I just think it needs a little further investigation. I don't know what this is. I can't believe they put an unknown, unlike labeled item inside of this box and just shipped it out to people. What is this? I mean, it doesn't smell horrible, but it doesn't smell great. It kind of just smells like hand soap. Like somebody put hand soap in a little bottle and then tried to sell it off as like a face wash. But I can't find, please let me know if you guys, if, maybe I'm just overlooking it. Maybe I'm just not like, you know, I'm not in the investigation mode enough. But if you, if you know what this is, please let me know. But as it stands right now, I can't find this anywhere on the internet. And I cannot believe a company would put something like this inside of a box and just ship it out to people. Anywho, okay, so that might be the end of our just kind of more chill, relaxed unboxing. I don't know how many boxes we got through. Wait, I think we definitely did a few. Uh, there's a little bit more of a dent here in the pile. And then we also had the separate pile on the floor over here, which y'all couldn't see, but we made it through that pile. So we're doing good, we're making it through. Did we open up like 11 to 12 boxes? <laughs> Almost the same amount that I did in like my one hour speed round. Well, it appears I have a goal I need to beat. <laughs> Uh, but that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. Uh, we do, we open up a bunch of boxes here on this channel and we're gonna do a bunch of other stuff as well at some point. Um, <laughs> so if you guys wouldn't care to subscribe, it mean the absolute world to me and Rin and Tater. I should you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Look what I just got out of my mailbox. Another one <laughs> to add to the stack.